My name is Ryan McSpadden. I'm a head and neck plastic and reconstructive surgeon at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. So common risk factors for cancers of the head and neck include smoking, tobacco, chewing tobacco, and heavy alcohol use. So some of the first signs that patients often present with is a neck mass without any other symptoms, including sore throat or trouble swallowing. Other signs and symptoms that are early include a lesion in the mouth or a discoloration of the lining of the mouth called leukoplakia. While some of those are general symptoms of head and neck cancer, there are symptoms specific to the different sites of cancer within the head and neck. The symptoms of an oral cancer usually consist of pain in the mouth, a lesion on the tongue or elsewhere in the mouth. Sometimes the lesions can be friable, meaning when you go to brush your teeth, you notice a little bit of blood in your spit, or if that lesion is associated with a new lump or bump in the neck. Symptoms of a throat cancer can include a lump or bump in the neck, trouble swallowing, feeling like food gets stuck, unexplained weight loss because of the trouble swallowing, or sometimes a change in the voice where the voice is more hoarse or rough. Symptoms of a nasal or sinus cancer can include persistent congestion or inability to breathe through the nose, unexplained nosebleeds that seem to last for one to two weeks, uh, a new pain or swelling in the face, feeling like you have persistent sinus infection that doesn't seem to be getting better with antibiotics, or changes in vision, or changes in sensation in the face such as numbness. HPV is associated with cancers both of the oropharynx, uh, the tonsil and base of tongue, as well as some sinonasal cancers. HPV is really a virus that most of the population has been exposed to at some point in their life, and we're still studying how it becomes reactivated in some patients and can cause cancer. So patients who have an HPV-associated oral pharyngeal cancer, which can include the tonsil or the base of tongue, are much more responsive to treatment, whether that be surgery or upfront radiation combined with chemotherapy. And that responsiveness to treatment is taken into account when we determine the sequence of their therapy. If a patient has any symptoms that are persistent for one or two weeks, including a neck mass, trouble swallowing, pain when they swallow, or if those symptoms seem to be worsening after one or two weeks, the mass is getting larger, the trouble swallowing is getting worse, the pain is getting worse, then they should seek care for appropriate workup by their primary care doctor.